Back to school vibe is in the air. Fall semesters are beginning and it means one very good thing. We're getting ready for football. Welcome to the 2015 Jeffco Football Preview with Stream It Sports. We're gonna go with the up-tempo and begin things right now with the Chatfield Chargers under head coach Brent McGatlin. He's lost a lot of players from last year. They're gonna be young and inexperienced, but key pieces look very strong throughout the summer, like Schley at quarterback, Barley along the line of scrimmage, Bristol Fernetter. He's got a lot of good parts there. They will have to grow throughout a very aggressive schedule. Coach Wodolovich and the Dakota Ridge Eagles, reason for excitement, their impact players have returned. As you can see, that includes Lujan and Clary, Farron, Myers, Caesar to support them. Seasoned players, the senior core looking for a third straight playoff appearance. Talking with Coach Don Morris from Stanley Lake, this is obvious, there's no way the attrition in terms of health can repeat itself from last year where they lost so many starters. Some big boys back, you can see the physical stats pop out. Cesar Gutierrez, big boy at 285. Ben Quinones, a strong two-way line play. They've got a lot of speed too. Stanley Lake is going to improve. They hope to surprise people who overlook them. Jeff Braun's Lakewood Tigers have skills and strength here this season. Their strongest unit may be the defensive backfield led by Braden Smith, who's a Mountain West commit along with two-way star Andrew Cherry. With some of that size and speed to go along with their experience from last year carrying over, the Tigers are looking to move on deeper into the 2015 playoffs. The Columbine Rebels look so strong during summer sessions. Big boys as you walk right next to them and you look at the physical stats there, 270 with Gentry, Big John Cole, Hunter Harms, Chris Reese, what that says to me is the Lowry era physical identity is in place. Look out for the Rebels. They are certainly going to be a force to be reckoned with. Of course, you always have to prove it, but implications are this year that this may be a coming out party for that core group for Tom Fennell's Mullen Mustangs. They're all getting older, bigger, faster, stronger. Marcus McElroy, the very talented running back. Love that defensive backfield led by Christian Cumber and Adrian Jackson. Their QB, Javon Tafoya, well, no one's ever started for Thanel other than him at QB. Watch out for the Mustangs as we progress into the postseason in 2015. When you think of Big Black and the Pomona Panthers under head coach Jay Madden, you have to first look along the line of scrimmage. And they have some beef. Jake Moretti, one of the top recruits out of the state of Colorado, a commit to Ohio State. Two-way player Elijah Leva. I like the story of Max Borgie. Started as a freshman at the tailback position. He's bigger, stronger, still very fast. Pomona's going to be young but they're very tough and they'll have to be that way in a very, very rough conference to get through. Coach Jared Wallen is building a culture and trying to recapture some of that great championship heritage of the Green Mountain Rams. He's got some nice pieces available to him. His golden arm, as he describes it. You see Jacob right there, the quarterback, Josh Perkins, the heart of the defense, an all-conference player. And Ben Schlepper should make some impact plays on both sides of the ball. The talent is improving and so is the culture. They're hoping people overlook them so they can shock some people in Jefferson County. Golden Demons football has been down the last couple of years, but that's changing with the new culture under head coach Jason Neely. Some nice pieces back. You see Bowker, who's a good guy to get the ball to. Chase Daniels leads the defense once again. I like Riley Cook up front at 250 to lead the Demons across the line in scrimmage. They have realistic goals, get to 500 this year, and then build with that in upcoming years. The Devlin Jaguars took a lot of lumps last year. They were so young, but now that experience carries over. They've got key pieces like Owen Burke, the quarterback who broke so many records last year, tossing it around. And then the big boys, James Doyle, Peter Flack, 230, 255. The Jaguars are gonna be tough, and they're gonna be exciting to watch as always. The Ralston Valley Mustangs lost a very exciting players off of last year's squad that made the semifinals, but they're gonna be just fine with some key pieces that have returned, and of course, that program depth. Kyle Rush, 
is going to be the main ball carrier. He has so much experience and lots of carries in big time situations. Monaghan up front, big 285 kid. Hopman will be another weapon. Baker Eberle across the line of scrimmage. RV is always in the picture come postseason, and that'll be the same for this year. A new regime at the farm. They got the right guy, an alum, Stacy Coriel, who has so much experience at both high school and college levels. He has some nice parts, starting with Jack Evans. He's so excited about Big Jack at 6'2", 210. He's going to play tight end, runs 4'5", some other pieces, Dryling, and you also see Larson there, Schnebley, 270, blast and holes. They just have to figure out the quarterback situation, and they have a couple people in the mix who should serve well for the farm. Zach Morris and the Bear Creek Bears have to replace 16 starters. That's quite a challenge. Leading the way to be able to handle the adversity, Tomas Randolph will be running the football most often. Walker Rumsey, a quarterback who's a multi-sport athlete and has a little bit of edge to him. I like the looks and very intrigued by 6'6", 285, Barry Wesley along the line of scrimmage. Gibbs Martinez will lead the defense. It's going to be tough and the conference is definitely brutal. We'll see what the Bears can do in 2015. Under second year head coach Brad Pyatt trying to get back in the ways of the Purple Cats when they were winning championships. It'll be a challenge within this conference, but they have some nice parts they're excited about, including Joey Perez, who's a workhorse as a ball carrier. And then they've got their quarterback returning and Lucas Listozzi had some injury issues last year. They're really high on this kid. He's healthy and he should be fine leading the way for the O. Shipman Gomez will lead the defense. Again, it's a challenge in a tough conference, but the Cats, working with a new culture, are game for it. There's a rapid, fast-paced look at the Jefferson County football teams for 2015. I'm done talking about it. Let's get in the seats or watch the games here on Stream at Sports.